this morning, we're giving you more insight from a medical perspective as multiple Bay Area school districts drop their face mask. We talked to a doctor to find out what this could mean for the next school year. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott explains how this might impact COVID-19 cases at your child's school. As school districts shift their focus and plan for the next school year, many of them are choosing to loosen public health measures that were put in place because of the pandemic. I think it's fair to always say, well, what's the risk versus benefit of doing something? So far, face masks are no longer required and are now just optional for all students and staff at schools in Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, and Polk counties. There is a fair question to be asked is, okay, when are we ready, if ever, and it seems to me that all things considering we're probably there. Many factors have changed over the past few months as school districts make decisions for next year. While experts say there's definitely still a risk for COVID-19 spread in schools now that masks will come off, board certified pediatrician Dr. David Berger says we have a lot of scientific data about the virus that we didn't have going into the last school year. The vaccines are the biggest development, even if kids under 12 won't be able to get vaccinated before the start of the school year. Will there be cases? of COVID that will go through the schools this year? Yes. Will most of the teachers be, you know, who choose to be vaccinated, be vaccinated? And so that was our biggest concern last year. Not that the kids were going to get it, but that the kids would get it and either spread it to a teacher or spread it to an older loved one or those with immunocompromised or other types of conditions. Although Berger believes the risk for a COVID-19 outbreak in schools is much lower now, he says there are still a lot of unanswered questions about contact tracing and what the districts will do about the cases that will likely show up in schools. How diligent will parents be with testing? How diligent will schools be with sending people home who have symptoms? How, 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 how on top of it will pediatricians be in testing people who may or may not have COVID so that they can go into the protocol of quarantine to stop the spread? We'll keep following this story for you and bring you the latest updates on abcactionnews.com as school districts make more decisions on COVID-19 policies. Reporting from Tampa, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.